In the last video, we saw and proved the first corollary to the mean value theorem. In this video, I would like to talk about the second corollary to the mean value theorem and prove it using the first corollary. If f prime of x and g prime of x are equal on an open interval a, b, then f of x is equal to g of x plus some constant c on that interval. The idea here is if I have two functions whose derivatives are always the same, then the functions differ by at most a constant. Well, the way I want to think about this intuitively, then we'll prove it formally, is that if I draw a function, and then I shift it upwards by adding a constant to it, or shift it downwards by making c a negative, I won't have changed the slope of the tangent lines. They would have just been either moved up or moved down, meaning the derivatives were the same. Uh, thinking in the way the theorem's written, if I draw a function above or below this so all the tangent lines match, all I have done is move the function either up or down. All right, so let's go through and prove this second corollary. What I want to do is construct a new function. h of x is going to be the function that is the difference of f and g. So, let's take the derivative of our new function. Well, the sum rule for the derivative says that h prime would be f prime minus g prime. Well, under the hypotheses here, f prime is equal to g prime, so this is really zero. So my new function's derivative is always zero on the open interval a, b. So the first corollary of the mean value theorem applies to this, and h of x has to be a constant over my interval. So h of x is always a constant on this interval a, b, so c equals f of x minus g of x, and by adding g of x to both sides, I get the conclusion that f of x equals g of x plus some constant c. And that finishes my proof of the second corollary to the mean value theorem. That if I have two functions whose derivatives are always the same, those functions differ by at most a constant.